Wall Street revealed XRP will reach $20,000 in 2022. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is zero. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 13600000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. Famous YouTuber Ben Armstrong, known as BitBoy Crypto, expressed his opinion about what fuels the price of XRP. Armstrong tweeted yesterday that XRP is growing for several reasons. However, he believes that the main reason for the growth of XRP over the past week was that the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, abandoned its attempts to prove that the token is a security. Armstrong added that Ripple enthusiasts are now confident that the worst-case scenario that Ripple could face if it loses the lawsuit is a fine, instead of a complete ban on working in the United States. XRP is growing for several reasons. But if I had to single out one, the SEC actually gave up this week trying to prove that XRP is a security. People in the Ripple community can be pretty sure that now the worst-case scenario is a fine, he said. Deaton's lawyer's reaction. The YouTuber's tweet provoked a reaction from various members of the Ripple community, including lawyer John Deaton, who represents the owners of XRP in court. Deaton said the SEC stopped relying on one of its experts who wanted to prove that XRP investors expected to make a profit when acquiring XRP as from a joint venture, which referred it to an investment contract. He added that the SEC has retracted this claim. Meanwhile, this was the only evidence to consider the sale of XRP on secondary markets as a sale of securities. As I said earlier, the SEC chose to not rely on experts. They had expert one who was trying to say what hashtag XRP holders relied on when acquiring hashtag XRP. They gave up using that expert because we acted. That was the only Hail Mary it had at proving secondary market hashtag XRP is a security. It is noteworthy that XRP began to grow after Ripple and the SEC filed their petitions for a summary judgment, which suggests that the end of the trial is closer than expected. Deaton also believes that the commission may not prove that XRP is a security. He believes that the SEC has recognized that the owners of XRP have no legal or financial claims against Ripple, and Ripple owes nothing to the owners of XRP. Thus, Ripple cannot be a joint venture. The answer. The hashtag XRP ledger itself. The SEC admitted that hashtag XRP holders have no legal or financial claims in Ripple the company and Ripple owes XRP holders nothing. So Ripple can't be the common enterprise like the complaint claims. The SEC's expert said it was the XRP ecosystem. Tapjets, an airline charter company, has joined iRemit with a request to provide a summary that will demonstrate the usefulness of the XRP token. Tapjets, a private jet transportation company, has asked the court to file an application to provide the Ripple blockchain company with a helping hand in its litigation with the EU. S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This letter to the court should show the usefulness of the token, which was recognized by the SEC as an unregistered security. Tapjets, which accepts XRP in exchange for its services, claims that such a payment option is vital because it allows you to book flights during non-business hours of banks, while not having restrictions on transactions for transfers. Thus, the company is able to provide its services in real time. In the offer letter, Tapjets insists that it has no financial relations with the defendants in the case. However, the company claims that it is interested in the outcome of the trial because it has invested in the technology. 
Tapjets claims that her business will eventually suffer losses if the court recognizes XRP as a security, which will probably prevent her from using the token. Tapjets is the only company that allows you to instantly book charter flights on private planes. Since the efficiency of using services is central to the company's business model, it needs to continue using the XRP token. I remit, a Filipino money transfer company, has also applied to participate in the Amicus program to demonstrate the usefulness of XRP. Unexpectedly for everyone, Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission publicly filed petitions for summary trial over the weekend, although they were expected only today, September 19, 2022. Breaking, Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse, and Chris Larson file motion for summary judgment seeking judgment as a matter of. Breaking, SEC files motion for summary judgment. The parties filed the petition separately in the Southern District of New York. The SEC built its argument on the premise that buying XRP in a joint venture makes the cryptocurrency an investment contract, that is, a security that should be regulated by U.S. securities laws. In addition, the SEC claimed that Ripple lured many investors to buy XRP, making them believe that they would make huge profits in the future, thereby implying that the cryptocurrency is a security. On the contrary, the defendants Ripple, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse said that regulators could not prove that investors bought XRP, relying on the company to help them make a profit, since there was no agreement. According to Ripple's lawyers, token holders usually profit from the asset due to the forces of supply and demand. Based on this, XRP holders have no right to claim profits from Ripple. In addition, they cannot accuse the company of any violation if it does not profit from XRP, Ripple added. Ripple executives and observers of the case have already expressed their opinion on the petitions filed. According to Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, it is obvious that the SEC is not interested in applying the law in this case, adding, they want to redo everything in an unacceptable attempt to expand their jurisdiction far beyond the powers granted to them. By Congress. Today's filings make it clear the SEC isn't interested in applying the law. They want to remake it all in an impermissible effort to expand their jurisdiction far beyond the authority granted to them by Congress. Ripple General Counsel Stuart Alderotti also commented on the developments, saying that the SEC has not yet identified any investment contracts after two years of litigation. The SEC cannot satisfy a single point of the Supreme Court's Howey test. Everything else is just noise, Alderotti added. The day is finally here, our motion for summary judgment is public, you can view it here? Similarly, attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan, said that the Securities and Exchange Commission is now in big trouble after a recently filed motion for summary judgment. I just read the summaries, and the SEC has a couple of big problems. 1. Her expert agrees that most of the changes in the price of XRP are due to market forces, not Ripple. The Securities and Exchange Commission has failed to record that any of the XRP buyers have heard Ripple's alleged marketing pitch, a big problem because it has the burden of proving everything here. Video tomorrow. I just read the briefs and the SEC has got a couple big problems. 1. Its expert agrees that most of the changes in XRP price are due to market forces and not Ripple. Ouch. These types of concessions are perfect for summary judgment. Next court dates. Ripple has almost a month to file an objection to this set of petitions, and it is expected that the summaries of objections will arrive by October 18th. It is expected that the answers to them will be received by November 15th, by which time all the briefings will be completed, and the judge will wait for the final decision of Torres. James K. Phelan predicts that on March 31, 2023 or earlier, Judge Torres will simultaneously make a decision on the petitions of experts and the decision in summary proceedings. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.